Hello, I'm John Harold from Zytron. For the next few minutes, I'll be showing you key functionality in the Navigator RIP licensing system called LDK. This licensing system is what authorizes the use of Navigator RIP software, as well as any options that you might have purchased. To access information about LDK, we'll use the LDK tool that was placed on the computer when the RIP software was installed. To access LDK tool, go to the lower left corner of your desktop and type LDK. Windows should display a link. Click the link and LDK tool will launch. The main window allows you to activate the license that was either emailed to you or included as part of the RIP kit shipment. When the RIP is installed, a window will appear asking for the LDK. If that entry is skipped, you can use the LDK tool to enter the license after the software installation is completed. With no license key installed, this is what the LDK window looks like. To activate your license, it's as simple as entering the key and clicking the Activate button. The system will ask if you are sure you want to activate the license on this computer. This is an important safety precaution because the license can only be activated one time. If you're sure this is the PC on which you want the software to run, click the Yes button. The LDK tool will reach out to the Zytron license server over the internet and activate the license. It will then post the activation successful message you see here. Click the Quit button. The software is now ready to use. Launch the Navigator RIP to verify. Let's take a look at some other functions in LDK Tool. Click the link and LDK Tool will launch. By clicking on the More button, you can see that LDK Tool can be used to activate a new license, update a license with purchased options, transfer a license to another computer, or cancel a license. You can also click the Display Keys button to see what licenses are available. Click on the licenses shown in the upper window, and the lower window will display all the functions that are licensed to use. Click Done to exit the window. Let's update this license as if a new option such as the Screen Output plugin were purchased after the license was installed. Click Update License, Update this computer, and then click Have Internet Access. Copy and paste the license number that was emailed to you. Click Activate. Again, you'll get the opportunity to be sure that this is the right PC for the activation. Click Yes and you'll get the success message. If we click Display Keys and check the license, you can see that the Screen Option plugin was activated. The last button in the tool is the Program Key button. If you have opted to license the software through a hardware dongle instead of a software key, and the dongle was shipped to you without programming, use this button to attach your license to the dongle. Simply enter the code delivered to you by email and click Activate. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.